like about Kira's fit that makes you want to adopt your playstyle from Kira? Well, he hasn't directly inspired. It's not like I watched him yeah, and was and like, oh, I should play Pit. It's just like I know he's one of the top Pit players. Him, um, Cold Weather over on the East Coast Earth. Uh, is a prominent. Mm. So I, I, I like it feels like he brings some of his Rob into his Pit. Mm-hmm where he kind of let people throw out options and, and kind of waste to punish him, whereas Cold Weather's a bit more on the offensive front. Mm-hmm. So adapting that kind of counter-punching play style is definitely something I, I think he excels at. Mm-hmm. But one thing in particular I've noticed about Kira Flex is, like, he'll switch between the pits and Rob in mm-hmm. times where I'm like, but you were doing well with the pit. Like, why? Mm-hmm. Like, you don't have to go to the, the Rob. So... Mm-hmm. I mean, he's the one pressing the buttons and playing the game, so he knows what's best for him. He's but, been, but he's been playing both these characters since Smash 4. Right. That's the thing. Like that's, and that's kind of what he adopted from Smash. Like, uh, no, actually, since Brawl. Um, like when you're playing, when you come from Brawl and you're playing a Brawl veteran, they're gonna be a bit more like patient. They're gonna like wait you out, fe- like feel you out, and figure out what's the correct punish. Cause that's kind of like what you needed to do in Brawl. Right. In this game, that's still a really good playstyle. Like it still, it still gets rewarded in this game. But now you have different options that you can deal with. Now you have to deal with spot dodge. And like brawl veterans, they actually are pretty well versed in like dealing with like how fast these defensive options were, and being able to punish them accordingly. It's always cool to see like the history of Smash as a franchise start to bleed into the subtext of some of these matches. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, th- this matchup in particular could be tough for for Rob because I feel like if, if he. Kiraflex doesn't really want to try to go for the reflect oh, with the side out. B, but if he tries that, I feel like that's going to get punished. For him. Yeah, it is, it's a bit too slow. And, like, the issue is Link could throw out, like, two. And right. The, the second one would clink with the first one, <laughs> and then he'd be able to punish him <laughs> with the third one. Right. So I don't think we'll see that. Edge guarding game looking to be a thing right now for Kiraflex. Mm-hmm. A little bit behind in experience, but one solid it is all it takes, especially on Smash Field down tilt. That's going to get shielded. Sam fishing for that again, gets the arrow, can't get the forward air follow up. Yeah. One of the things that I feel like Kira is he's opting for a Rob over a Link, is, I mean, uh, over Pit, is probably because of that weight, you know? Yeah. Like that, Rob, Rob can live for a hot, hot minute. And, uh, like, he has a pretty good hitboxes to help himself land. It's gonna. He kind of wouldn't be able to box Ooh. against that character as much. Ooh, I actually thought he was gonna. The bomb was gonna blow him, blow up in his hand. He might have been able to recover. <laughs> Kiraflex was idling at the station, just like, no, I'll, I'll wait. I'll yeah. wait for you to come in. We're right. good. I've got. I've actually got all of it. I'm Rob. Mm-hmm. But these low percentages, and is definitely showing some offensive capability. And this is the up tilt. There comes back with the bow and arrow. All right, bomb in the hand. Man, Hit him, him with the two for. Uh huh. Oh, actually, that uh, him him accidentally falling off stage actually made him lose it in his advantage stage, and that cost him that that quick 49 percent. These are gonna get juked. Oh. Down tilt afterwards, pushing Zan off. Off stage shenanigans have been a problem for him thus far. Game number one. Mm-hmm. Just throw out these projectiles. Just so, something will land. Mm. It, 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 he doesn't need to approach. <laughs> 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 You don't need to approach at all. Like, he's chilling. When Young Link doesn't feel like having you in his face, man, he's just like, oh, here, what's this red button on my controller, dude? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Oh, chilling. <laughs> the boomerang came back. Yeah, it's the, after the visibility was gone, too. Oh, he's trying to get a bomb confirmed. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, no grab? Definitely some options on the table there, not getting picked up by Kira Flag. Sometimes it's just like, you realize it too late, you know that you did, so you're just like, oh, what? The second hit of the fair connected and, like, it killed him. Kind of, <laughs> It kind of it kind of robbed him of this talk. Pun intended. Rob, I was about to say, Pun robbed <laughs> him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. But now, now he has to deal with a, a young Link with the stock advantage, where he doesn't need to play the game anymore. Like, yeah, he actually I mean, don't. He's got like, the Gatling gun, bow and arrow. Th- th- Forward air is serving as a pretty solid wall. Kira Flax struggling to get back on stage. Drops him with the neutral air. Does exactly that. 
Dude, Young Link's calluses are on point. I can imagine, dude. <laughs> Gu guitar players would be jealous of this, of this child. Right? Rapid fire. Mm -hmm. Bomb is out. Burn down. Not going to impact. Pure reflect. Waiting for the right oh opportunity, but one arrow leads to two. Oh, he leads went to the back, all and out. He was trying to hard YOLO. That's going to get punished. Pure flex, like, uh, not on stream, man. You're not doing that to me on stream. <laughs> nah, nah, I am. Man, Sir Toasty, go home. <laughs> He's like, I've been on Geek Smash enough, man. Yeah. There's a fair to close out that stock. So we got so game one. With Kira Flex, whenever we do see him go down game one in the series, for me, the question always becomes does Is he it? stick with that character? Does he flip over? And if so, why? Uh, he might. It depends on the stage. Kalos, he might go dark pit. I, I feel like it's worth a switch. He's thinking about it. He's thinking dark pit or Rob. Okay. No, like, it, like honestly, the Rob, it didn't do bad. It was, it, it was just kind of like falling apart a little bit, but he still, still had the game plan in this, and like overall. It's just that he needed to deal with uh, maybe the stage. I mean, the stage is a bit smaller. Like, Good like, grief. Yeah, mass, but yeah, like he took up 80% after getting hit by like one arrow. Yeah, e eating the training combo right out of the gate, that's... That was some sus DI. That was not the DI that was he, yeah. that he needed to do. Ooh, man, that was, uh, that costed him an early stock. Not quite the beautiful day in the neighborhood for Curaflex, Mr. Oh, Rogers. Not in. Not quite. No. <laughs> but 70%. He gets two solid shots. He's right back in this, but he has to find this offense now. Boomerang forward air says not so much. 27, make that 33. Mm -hmm. Curaflex gets the grab. Berries up air. Not going to do it just yet. Oh. Remix. Remix comes back. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, that was some, uh, some bad DI coming in from uh, Zan as well. Definitely, he actually probably could have survived that second up there. It did seem to be a might early, but Kira Flax is like 1,000% take those. Mm -hmm. Laser yeah. comes out, and eight more projectiles right behind it. Back throw, just get him off stage. Ooh. Drop oh, down up air, comes back to the remix. He's like, I, I can do the remix too. I'm a mm -hmm. DJ. What the fuck up there? <laughs> All right, he's going to use up all that gas. This is not the first time we've seen Zan just go hard in the paint. Doesn't pay for it with a stock this time, though. Only low percentage. Yeah, but Zan's going for these, like, these risky options when it's, like, when it's actually okay. Because last time he did it, he had a stock lead. This time, like, what is he going to do? Take 20% right. when he's at 30? That's not going to kill him. I mean, he hasn't really been getting hard punished anyway, so why not? 82% now on this second stock, though. I like the that gyro off the wall to like give it a little bit of a bounce. That shouldn't be the stop. I think that was a legit kill. Maybe. Yeah, it looked like it. Actually. The the first the first one felt like a di thing. That one felt like nah, like he he was just out. I think that up tilt was the difference maker. Now, either way, we're now looking at an even game. Kiriflax. Has been taking one on the chin in, in neutral, but when he gets an opportunity, he's been making the absolute most out. Oh my gosh, off stage. Oh, Don't care. Sparked. Yo, why did that kill so early? Kalos, man. Yeah, bro. He was like at what, 64? He was like 88 mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. hit. He said, You are not the hero Hyrule needs or deserves. I was like, this, this is for my brothers. <laughs> Those guys with the eyes? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. How dare you take out my sentry, boys? I, mean, I like Breath of the Wild anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, after getting that win in pretty decisive fashion, it definitely felt like a, a come from behind endeavor, mm -hmm. but it did seem like Kira Flax has figured out this matchup. We're going to see Rob again. Yeah. Yeah, like honestly, Pit, Pit can do all right, but the issue is he won't get an, he won't get as much off of a hit as Rob would. And like even Ooh, though Rob is, so God, this is so much damage. All right, Kiraflex is like I have these training mode combos too. Here's a free 80 right out of the gate. Oh my gosh, 
What is he gonna do? Good thing we're on town and city. Zan might be on a brand new stock right now. Uh-huh. Oh, he's off stage. This bear this bear opportunity. Oh. Down. What? Yo, he's going for some stuff. Dude. He's going for the sauce. He's out here like <laughs> Young Link's got wings. He's just <laughs> off stage going for it. Buck 44 for his trouble, though. Side oh. B, let's go. That read the spot dodge for sure. He, had it, he hasn't thrown that one out at all. And like That's actually the first time he's thrown out that yeah. side B. Some options you save when they get you to stock. Game three. The lack of conditioning is in and of itself conditioning. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Now, like Zan has to deal with being from behind, and with all this, with all this work that Kira's been doing, like every hit feels like a century. I mean, it feels like a truck that Kira's been doing. He hits you three times, and you're at 80, dude. Yeah, there's been a considerable tonal shift over the course of Game 3 so far, where Zan now has to be the aggressor. But I'm always curious to see situations like this, because Kiraflax has been doing well over the course of Game 2 in particular by being the aggressor and by staying in Zan's face. But now, since he's more incentivized to play back, is that inviting Zan back into the game? So far, it looks like Kiraflax is more than comfortable, maybe some more of that brawl experience. Mm -hmm. Like, no, like he he could play the patient game and it's fine with him. Like, like playing as patient mm. as possible. Oh my gosh! See, once he found his opening, then he goes on the aggressive. Ooh! There's the top spin. Down tilt. Look what else I got for you. Down tilt. Side B. Thanks for that spot. This is a double top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zan's not gonna go for the aggressive option this time. I mean, Kira Flex is. Oh, <laughs> dash attack's gonna take off. He's like, all right, all right, I'm about to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I try to stall as long as possible, <laughs> like, but yeah, let's be real. Can't hold that it, stock it was time. It was time. Yeah. Laser comes out, has the gyro. That's going to get caught. Out here playing catch. Mm -hmm. oh, we're playing We're playing some projectile games right now. Cure Flex is fine with it. Zan does get in, gets the bow and arrow oh. to continue the combo. He was hoping for a jump coming in from here. That would have been the stock, actually. Oh my god, he comboed uh, it! He double com- Oh no! Oh no! That was a visit, but... Wait a moment! Yo, Hang on! Did you see that one combo? That was that was pretty spicy. <laughs> Zan accidentally comboed himself into yeah. both of his bombs. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself. <laughs> Down so it comes in, though. That SD has made the end of this series very interesting between these two players. Lair drops in, Kira Flax oh, turns nice around, smash. gets the forward smash, buck 24, oh, drops no. the gyro on him. Oh, we got oh, the explosion. The bomb keeps him in it. Oh. Ooh, this is way too close he right is now. slinging these arrows. Oh. That's very gums to the forward air. Looks for the jump, doesn't catch you with the laser, 82%. Not oh. outside the realm of possibility by any means for a Rage Young Link. Oh. On this stage, if he catches a forward air right now. Yeah, he could definitely, if, if he catches an arrow. Oh, there's mm -hmm. an air coming in for Kira. He's looking for a grab. Oh. It hits twice. Yeah. He got the read too. Up air, Kira flies oh, in that, trouble. The gyro. Not like this, not like this. The gyro coming in clutch. There's the <gasps> Nair. He's off stage. What is Neutral he going to do? There. Buck 34. Throwing a boomerang out there. We're throwing a whole kitchen sink right now. Come, you, you got to come down sooner or yeah, later. He, he, he's decided I'm landing on this platform. Oh, my <gasps> gosh. He's air dodging. Oh, my word. Oh, but there's Neutral a Nair. Air. He's living. It's across the stage. Young Link drank his milk. He's heavy enough. Oh, boomerang. Boomerang for an air. No way. No way. That was not the no. loss he wanted. Oh, no. man. That is not how he wanted to lose that one. Mr. Rock.